Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit and this is the day 7 of the Agile Development Training. Uh, in this training, today we will talk about that theme, we will talk about the epic and then we will talk about the backlog. These stuffs we will talk about. So very first thing is that we will talk about the theme. So who can create the themes and uh, when should we create the theme, how the theme will look like that. Those things we will talk about the epic, we will talk about the backlog stuffs. So these topics we will talk about first. Uh, before we start that, uh, if you remember that this is the flow I have designed for you guys. So if you see here, the group created by Scrum Master after the, the product created by the product owner, then release created by the product owner, release and the group mapping that can be done by Scrum Master. And then after that, we have a sprint, sprint created by Scrum Master. Now uh, we are going to create first uh, what thing that will create first that theme. For that, what we'll do, I'll go to this Agile model and then first I'll impersonate that our user called um, Scrum Master and try to uh, show you that the, the Scrum Master doesn't have access to create the theme. So first we'll create a theme here. So if I go back Agile here, under this Agile we have a uh, the theme. And if you go back to the theme, there is no new button for you. So as a Scrum Master, you can you can't create the theme but you have access for epic so what i'll do i'll impersonate uh, um, that uh, product owner and then create a theme i'll go to this agile and then create the theme here and here uh, whatever the theme was there so i so the, our product if you remember that the product we have created called service now ytsm and in this case, our theme, I am providing that um, service catalog, okay. So as I mentioned that theme is a um, broader scale, so um, for ITSM, okay. So this is might be the theme and then here I, I have direct, as I mentioned here, the theme have the direct connection with the product. So we can select the product. So our product is the service now ITSM, we'll select that as a product here and then save that. So what happens? So the theme is created. You can see um, the theme is created uh, with this product. So now if we go back to the product, we'll have this call, um, understand one more thing. We have two releases, mid release, final release. We have one theme and then we don't have any epic. We have four groups. So these are the things we have done. So if we go back to the release, mid release here, um, under this mid release, uh, we have groups, Agile Preview. Previously, I have created uh, the sprint here. Once our theme is de uh, defined that, so we define that high level what we are going to do. We are going to build the service catalog. So that's we are uh, defined in this high level. So now if I impersonate that as a our, um, if I go back to that here and then impersonate the, our um, Scrum Master. So as you know, the Scrum Master is the governing body who is going to manage the whole team of this in this case. So if I go back to here in this Agile and then if I go back to the Agile board, they are unable to see I'm um, they can see the sprint backlog, sprint tracking and then uh, I know the backlog if, you, if they go back that backlog, it's showing that you don't have any backlog. Ask your product owner to share the backlog. So backlog, first we have to define the backlog. Why should we define the backlog? So in the backlog, all the story, all the epic will become uh, come to this backlog. So whatever story and I pick the or maybe the defect doesn't have any sprint, those will become as a backlog. And then um, you know once this it will become to the backlog, uh, the sprint or uh, uh, you know Scrum Master will be defined that. Also, if you see that, if I go back to the sprint planning. Uh, it is showing all these group the scrum master is um, part of so agile scrum master He are uh, the one group that we have created and inside that he I mean the user cannot switch other Groups, right? So for that what we have to do under these groups what we'll do I'll add this scrum, uh, you know scrum uh, Master to all these group agile developer group agile PO group agile read only groups everywhere I'll add this um, the scrum uh, you know this uh, user scrum master user for that i'll do end impersonation first type agile here under this agile we have a groups for the timing i'm going to add this um, under this agile developer so what i'll do i'll add our scrum 
master here so i'll add the scrum master here okay so the scrum master is added to the group so next uh, uh, next uh, task is that once our theme is created now we have to define um, once our theme is created now we have to define the epic so who, we, who can define the epic the epic can be defined by the uh, product owner or maybe it can be scrum master so scrum master can define the epic scrum master can define the epic or the product owner can define the epic so let's say that we are going to create uh, i'll impersonate that um, the scrum master and then um, going to the agile here and under this agile now i have to create the epic so i am going to create um, one epic call let's say here i'll select that uh, end user catalog item and uh, this time i'll select the product here so i will select the product equal to uh, you know um, service now itsm and this is the end user uh, end user catalog item and another epic i'm going to create that call it user cat it user uh, you know some catalog item okay so we don't have insert and stay option so i'll copy this one and then going back to this epic and create one more epic and here i'll select that service now itsm so we have two epics right now one epics that we have created um, i'll add number j to m so we have created um, so i'll go back to this product again that product we have created under this product we have two release one theme two epics and then these groups are there fine now um what i'll do for better understanding i will um the previous i created the sprint under this agile po let's say i am going to create the screen uh, sprint under this agile develop developer so i'll click the create sprint here and then i'll say that development phases here i'll select the starting date and the number of sprint i'll select that uh, two sprint i need so uh, two development sprint i want so i'll click that so it will create two sprint okay fine the sprint is defined now what will we do i'll end the impersonation so what so far we have created we have created the theme we have created the epics now it's high time to create the story right so we can directly create that uh, story but before that we need to define the backlog so whenever the story will be created and then there will be no uh, sprint will be there it will be come to as a backlog backlog means that the story that doesn't have any um, you know sprint that we call the backlog so we, who can create the backlog the product owner can create the backlog so for that what i'll do i'll impersonate the product owner impersonate user and then product owner and impersonate here and here what i'll do i'll go to this agile and under this agile you have an option called personal backlog so once we click the personal backlog we need to define that personal backlog so i'll click new and then say that um service now backlog now backlog can be multiple backlog can be created let's say um this uh, this case this for the story we are going to create one backlog and here uh, we need to define that to whom we should uh, you know to whom we should um, the group should be visible so let's say we have uh, all this group i am going to add called scrum related so i'll uh, select that the scrum developer um, then um, we have uh, scrum master we have uh, scrum po and then we have you know all everyone will be able to see this backlog and submit that so our backlog is defined you can see this is the backlog that we have created so far under this backlog this back once this backlog is created there will be no uh, no more lock sign under this so if i impersonate right now 
here call um, scrum master and impersonate the user under this here if i go back to this agile and then under this agile if i click the agile board now if i go back to the backlog here i can see all these backlog uh, right now that all these um, epics are showing right now you can see these are the epics that is showing right now and these are the uh, you know uh, story is showing right now okay so uh, we can define or narrow down more like that epic should be or maybe uh, you know um, theme should be like that and we can define that in narrow down so now right now you can see this is the back in this backlog these are the records or story so far we have now what we'll do i just want to rectify or i just want to uh, specify only um, the uh, only that um, theme or only those story which have the epic e epic is like service catalog related for that i'll go back to again um, you know that um, here and modify that backlog that we have created so here you can you can see this is the condition we have i mean by default populated what we can do we can uh, you know here uh, we will say that that apex is uh, start, uh, end user catalog and we have or maybe epic is uh, it user catalog so these all uh, epic should be available only nothing else so we define that now if we go back and impersonate that uh, you know our um, user call let's go back to scrum master and then impersonate that the user won't be able to see any anything on that backlog so let's go back to this agile boat here and if we click that agile boat so you can see uh, we don't have any record at all right so the backlog is empty now we have to create the story and then we need to once we create the story that will become as a backlog and then we need to uh, do the sprint planning to move that to sprint okay so let's say i'm going to create a story so scrum i mean most of the user have access to that uh, creating the story so i'm going to create a story call let's say i'm going to create a story here so this is under end user so you can um, so change that to end user or other call it user also that we have uh, created so let's say that it user the theme we have created the service catalog we are going to select that under this short description what we will do We'll select the uh, short description. Let's say that um, build catalog item for ITIL user to raise new group request. So in the story, each and every point will be mentioned. Acceptance criteria will be mentioned. What will be the acceptance criteria? Uh, everything will be there and then they uh, once we submit that you can see the story will be created and this story is under uh, um, backlog and you can see the no story point it means that this um, story doesn't have any story point and you can see this is the point and this story doesn't have no acceptance criteria so so this sto so whatever story doesn't have any acceptance criteria or uh, you know um, mm, no point it will be show like that so you can i mean as a scrum master you can update those details like we can update that you know the acceptance criteria whatever we have that acceptance criteria we can define here and here we can define the point so let's say that i can uh, put the points equal to five point story and save that once we save that um you know uh, you can see this no story or no acceptance criteria is gone because there is a zero zero now similarly way we can create epic we can create the story and then you can see i can see only one backlog the product uh, the uh, this user scrum master user can only see one backlog because this is the only backlog the, that is shared by the product owner so that's the thing now we have to go to the sprint planning so once we go to the sprint planning 
uh, we will be able to do the plan the, for the spring. Right now you can see that we have we are showing that only one IT service catalog. So this is showing um, IT service catalog. The, uh, the end user catalog are not showing because we don't create any story. So I'm going to create one more story called end user. So, so here I'll select the theme is service catalog. And then this is called end user story, something like that. And I'll select that here and then point, I'll say that five point. Now remember that once we are, uh, you know, once we are creating the story, we don't have options called selecting the release and sprint. Um, so that's the one thing. And then once you submit that, so this story will be uh, uh, created and you can see that right now it is showing the left side, the epic wise, you can just select any of this epic and then it can be filtered. So you have many story, you can filter them by epic or you can uh, filter them by all. So this option will be available. So Scrum, uh, Scrum Master can modify those stories. Scrum Master can update those story based on their, uh, you know, requirement. So that's it for today. In our next session, we'll talk about the sprint planning. So if you have any question, let me know in my comments. Thank you very much. Have a great day.